Hey guys, this is Chris. And it's Colin. We're doing a review for all the submissions for our Spaceship 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 contest. Yeah, we're gonna go through, flip through all of them, um, tell everyone what we like about the builds, highlight some of the unique ones, and just let everyone see all the awesome submissions that came through all around <laughs> the world. Thank you for everybody that submitted. Now let's uh, jump into it. Sounds good. So what do we got here first, Chris? So we got Adam Dodge, 40 years old, and this is the Snowfire X2. Nice. So nice. We start off with a front-on view. Um, I'll go through the pictures and then we'll go back and talk about it. We have a three-quarter angle, uh, another three-quarter angle, and yeah, that looks like the three that he submitted. Chris, what do you what do you initially see on this build that stands out to you? The trans blue. I like the use of color, the white, the trans blue, and the trans orange. Sure. Definitely um, stands out a lot. I really like how minimalist the design is, mm -hmm. and it's just super slick. Like especially when you turn on the three-quarter view, you can see how he used the. I guess those are garage door pieces and they basically just kind of wrap almost like have um, kind of like a swoop effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the colors. He went with a almost like a tri scheme. Um, so the trans blue, trans orange and pure white. So that allows the colors to stand out really well against them, like you said. I do like the engine pieces. Those are quite big pieces. That's, is that one one piece? That is definitely one piece. Do you know what set that's from by any chance? I don't know. I see them in a lot of city sets, like especially for airplane parts. Okay. Um, but another thing I really wanted to note because we're just starting this video, Adam used trans clear pieces to oh, make it fly. Right. So very cool, Adam. So if you guys haven't done displays before, if you guys haven't taken a lot of pictures of your builds, or if you're looking to improve some of the quality of your displays, some unique ways that you can do that is by using trans clear pieces as the elevator, yeah. and they're not as noticeable. They don't take away from your build. So just as a first one, it's kind of cool to start off like that. So for all your Very future nice. submissions or your future builds, you can, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Let's move on to the next one. And we have Adam McKinley, 39 and son from yeah. Ontario, Canada. So this one's, this one's pretty cool. This is a more like classic spaceship <laughs> looking Very cool. in terms of the silhouette. It actually stands up and lays down, which is really neat. I also see more of the same pieces. Like look at those giant engine parts. He's got three in this one. And it almost looks like it comes off. I can't believe that they, the first two used the same sort of <laughs> engine piece. What are the chances of that? And the cool thing is um, because it's space, our minifig is wearing a spacesuit. That's so, awesome. I very smart. Didn't notice that the first time through, so it's awesome that we pointed that out. So it looks like the spaceship, in the way that it's displayed, is in launch mode, yeah, as well as in landed mode. That's very which cool. is very cool. So and some dynamic um, posing, I guess. And he also like flames on an engine, like that literally speaks like it's flying yeah. and launching. Very cool. Definitely, nice. definite nice realism. Colors, colors again, pretty cool. Um, classic white, blue with some trans orange and a little bit of trans green for the tail and nose piece. Very, very nice. And what else do we have here? We have Ake Kaufman. Ooh. New York. From New York, hey. 18, welcome. The Orange Ace, very fitting for a name. Very Nicely cool. done. So, the Orange Ace, uh, let me just find the right picture here. Sorry. There you go. Perfect. Okay, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but okay. Um, we start off with a with a back view. We have a side view as well hey, as Hey Benny! A zoomed in Benny cockpit. That's awesome. View. Um, and we also have a launching pose in this one as well. So maybe we'll start with this launching pose because that's that shows the most. Yeah, sure. Difference from this one or from everything else? Color. Definitely. I think orange is a very nice choice. I have, I don't ver see very much orange spaceships, but this one's got a very nice silhouette. It looks fast. It does look very fast. It has a really cool silhouette. One major prong nose piece and then two wings that are set very far back. Um, very cool. Something I noticed and I want to just double check in the first, are those? Those are wheels. Are those tires? Yes. Tires and wheels. Very nice. Utilized for the thrusters in the back, which is pretty cool. The best part about LEGO has to be the versatility of the parts. Yeah. 
Definitely. And like with wheels and tire, tire like um, hubs, they're always used for engines. They're excellent pieces because they look like engine parts, right? Like the wheel rib itself is definitely used a lot. Yeah. But having the actual rubber tire on, mm -hmm. unique. It's cool. Definitely. It adds some, it adds some uh, nice black that actually ties in well with the rest of the build, which is probably why he did it. Yeah. And then Betty. Before we get any further too, just going back to what Colin said with the versatility of LEGO, we have a saying in the LEGO community, every spaceship part, or sorry, any part is a spaceship part. <laughs> so that remember that. Anything, you can make any spaceship using any part. Just have to throw it in how somehow. So yeah, good job. Nice job. Okay, what do we have next here? Oh, and he's got a swoosh oh, photo. He did do a swoosh photo. So that is hand. sick. Spaceships have to be swooshable. That, good job. Oh, this is a green one. Nice. Okay, we're getting a lot of variety. Aliasker Casadwala, age five from Calgary. This is awesome. Love seeing the versatility in the age as well as the builds and the color scheme as well. Yeah. Like you said, the green is absolutely crazy awesome. Now with this one, they call it bird ship. So the bird ship, I thought it reminded me a little bit of Star Trek. So mm. I've seen like, I think it was a Cleon Warbird. Uh, I'm not very familiar with Star Trek, so sorry if I butcher any of the terminology, but it looks like something from the Star Trek universe. I like the use of color. Like, yeah. Those, those are angled differently, so he must have done something different to... Notice how they're not flat? Yeah, I noticed. They have a really cool articulation to them. They might be on some sort of ball joint, Maybe. I'm guessing, just because they are That's angled right. backwards and down at the same time. So it's actually a really smart design choice. You can Very get some cool. really unique angles in the wings that you wouldn't normally otherwise be able to. And he also utilized green as the main color, but he broke it up just enough with the orange mm -hmm. um, trans pieces, as well as the orange neck piece, or like the fuselage piece for the spaceship itself, which I thought was really cool. How old? Five. Five. Considering wow. his age, this is crazy. That's this very, is a very, cool. very cool build. This is a future master builder for sure. <laughs> um, or at least definitely a, a spaceship builder. NASA spaceship designer, potentially an engineer. Awesome. Okay. Oh, what's this one? This is Alice Healy, age nine, from age Airdrie. Nine. Airdrie! All awesome. right. We're getting close, some Albertans in close here. New Horizon Mall. Yep. That's where we're hosting our virtual uh, con, build con. That'll so, be August 28th and 30th. 2.30th. 30th, yeah, correct. Wait a minute, did it just broke apart? I think she's showing the cockpit section separately. Oh. So this is actually, it looks like a, a layered ship. Okay. So we have a bottom ship portion with the classic space blue with some white. Yeah. Uh, you can see that there's actually someone in the cockpit near the back, but there's also a cockpit on the top as well, mm -hmm. which nice. is really cool. And then in the second picture, it shows how it comes apart. So there's actually, this ship hosts four minifigs. <laughs> that's nice. crazy, considering the size of the build. It's a party. That's very cool. So it's this, a spaceship party. This is probably not a, it might be a fighting ship. We might have to get the, the What's the name of the ship? The name of this one is, oh. ah, they didn't give a name, unfortunately. Okay. That's okay. But it looks like a transport ship because there's a lot of people on board. Yeah. But that's very cool. That's, Good a, job. that's a really great build. Again, color is very cool. Space blue, very classic spaceship color. Um, some of that earth blue dark that we like and some yellow to brighten it up a little bit more. Definitely a great, great build. Okay. Next we have. What do we got here? Whoa, this is a giant, giant one. Hopefully we don't butcher any of these names. Sorry yeah. if we mispronounce them. Sorry about names, we're not super great. We're um, Lego builders, not, not namers. Amirali Nick Nick Zad? Zad from Iran. Hey, thank you for submitting all the way from over there. That's we're awesome. glad that you saw this. Yeah, we're super glad that you saw this. This is huge. This is like a, this is like a ship. Uh, a boat? <laughs> it's not a boat, but it's like a spaceship version. Wait, it's um, oh, what is this? Is this like a helicarrier from Marvel? Well, Colin hasn't seen the Marvel movie. Yeah, sorry, not a Marvel. But this is, it looks like a helicarrier. Like, you know, the ones with the, that carry the, like all the jets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, wow. a, it's like a spaceship that carries other spaceships. That's cool. Which is crazy. Okay, okay. I see what this, you did. This size is absolutely massive, clearly. And I really like the small micro scale ships. It has like a well, hammerhead look. looking. Yeah, it look, that looks like Boba's Slave 1, doesn't it? Which one? 
Like, look, so right on the... Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll, right? we'll zoom into it. It, in it looks like an... Like, it looks like Boba Fett's <laughs> Slave 1. It's a mini version of it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Wow. This cool. is very cool. So, the main ship, I'm assuming, is going to be the big one. And then there's micro ships on there just to help with the the scale, really. Right. I really like the use of the Griebling designs. I really like when people utilize the uh, bendy, what do you call those pieces? The hoses? Like the hoses, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bendy hoses are such a great Griebling piece, along with vents and like, uh, you can see another see like wheel, perhaps, in between that. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. And then it builds up that cockpit or command station and the shape is really, really, really interesting. I like how he used the trans pieces to show launching. You see the yellow and the orange, ah. and then the black strip. It's perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's probably like that's where the launch pad is, right? Right. Like the runway itself. I honestly feel like those ships that are on that it looks like very Star Wars. Like that one's a Jedi fighter. Yeah. Jedi fighter at the far top, top left. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one looks like an Imperial Imperial shuttle, yeah, something yeah. like that. And then we have that again, that like hammerhead style. Yeah, you're right. The yes, the left. Corvette. Yeah, nice. Corvette style. Yeah, totally. Let's uh, see more of this. Yeah, let's, let's see what else we have. Sorry, we were looking at one small picture just now. Oh man, that is cool. You do have a, you do have a, um, like what a control station. Yeah, a big control station on the top left or on the uh, top left of this picture. Oh, yeah. was that part of it? I think that's a, uh, I think that's an Easter egg. Easter egg. There's a small inside. Joker box inside. Joker in the box Easter egg with a security camera looking at it, wow. which is awesome. But no, this is a great build. Huge awesome. props. Um, that obviously must have taken a lot of time and, and effort. Yeah. So we appreciate it, especially from um, across the world, which is super cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is Andrew uh, Buren. And unfortunately we can't see where he's from, but that's okay. And what do we got here? This should be called the Mosquito. I, From what I remember, Andrew made a mosquito and I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was called, but. We'll have the title yeah. if we can see it in the, yeah. in the email. So why don't you describe kind of what the, what you see initially from this this build, it's pretty cool. So it, it does use a lot of these, um, what do you call it, support bars across to give it that kind of like long wingspan. Mm. If I were to imagine the ship, that those um, structure bars, if I were to take them away, it could be like a three piece spaceship mm -hmm. where he has like these, the wings are floating beside him, but not this, but not attached. Maybe that, using some sort of like magnetic or yeah, like some sort of like power that. levitation. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I definitely get it's a stealth. It's black. It's very cool. And it's like that lime green. I like that lime green. Mm -hmm. It really pops against the black. I actually really like those support beams. It's an interesting piece. Simple. It's, it's simple, but it's very, very effective in that sense. Ah, the side views yeah. is really cool. You get to see a little more of that lime green as well as some of that, I guess, it's like a grassy, classic green color. Mm -hmm. I like that the side wings themselves are split, so you can see the front of the thruster. There's like that tip piece that goes all the way through it yep. into the main thruster and then out the back with what looks like a gear piece. Yeah, definitely a gear piece. And let's see if we have any behind the... Do we have anything for the back? There, there we go. go. Yeah, engine parts. Yeah, Very engine nice. parts. Yep, yeah. gears as well as... Um, is that one... That's not a wheel, is it? Or is that an actual engine part? It should be. Uh, it, that should be an engine part. It looks like more yeah. of an engine part, you're right. This is a really cool build. Color combination, super unique. Looks very stealthy, looks very fast. Yeah. It looks like it were constants maybe in and out. It's nice. Definitely great build. Ooh, ooh, this one. What do we got? Ante Kirigan, 44, from Calgary, Alberta. Oh, and his son, son Cohen. Oh, there it is, and Cohen as well. Yep. Age four. So Cohen and... So this is... Let's see what they built. Like a micro imperial oh, ship. Oh yeah, for definitely. sure. Their own unique design. Yeah. Look at that. So if you imagine those large imperial destroyer ships shrunk down into a much more <laughs> of a micro build. Right. Utilizing a lot of really great smooth pieces. Mm -hmm. This has a very clean look to it. And they also opted to go for that classic Star Wars-y monochromatic um, color palette. Instead of utilizing multiple colors, they right. go for that space gray. Or that like, looks like the moon surface sort of gray, right? Well, 
One thing I, I I wanted to point out was look at the surface that they took the photo on. Yeah. Like it's got that texture. Yeah. So it really gives it that moon surface or it looks like it's going fast. Yeah, it does. It's like on a, I don't know. Yeah, it's just the photos, but that's a really nice photo. It is, but yeah, from the downward angle, like you mentioned on this photo, that it holds to the color palette really well, but also gives some texture in the background. It's actually a really good photo. I like this one a lot. Yeah, it's definitely a good call. So a lot of detail pieces in this one, it takes a lot to be able to manage shape mm -hmm. in such a small scale. So they did a really good job working together with those small pieces to give a great silhouette and an amazing spaceship. And we love the fact that you guys um, built together. So father and son building together. Family time is really important with us. So we really wanted to use this competition and all of our competitions to connect families together. So yeah, building together, good stuff guys. All right, who's the next one? Uh, our hip, Astashkin, uh, uh, Astashkin, sorry. Well, Edmonton. Eight, eight, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Chris and I are from Edmonton. Hello. Awesome. <laughs> hello, hello. So what do we got here, Chris? We got definitely a party. I, I, I'm i gonna call this a party bus, but what did he, what did he name his ship anyways? Oh, uh, oh. It's a spaceship, I can't see it on this description, Infinity. unfortunately. It's spaceship Infinity, it looks like something but we will make sure to post that sure. in the post-production on the video itself so we can see. It's definitely got a lot going on. Like honestly, the, I feel that if we got the full name, mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess Infinity and Beyond because there's like so many things happening to this. Like, look at that. You got like a, a tower with all these guns and then you got uh, rocks and boulders and it looks like they're gonna catapult that. I mean, probably. I'm not sure. That'd be an amazing defense system. To <laughs> okay. each other. You know what I really like about this build? Couple things. One, this reminds me of the travel hippie van of mm, space. That's right. This looks like this guy lives out of his van, but it's like a spaceship van. And he travels around from planet to planet, checks out, yeah. you know, all the different beaches on all the different <laughs> planets, you know, opens up the back hatch, sleeps in it, and then when he has to, defends himself if need be. It's very true. The colors are awesome. They're bold, they're out there. He uses a bunch of them. That's like the best part about Lego too. You can just you know, utilize any colors that you can just to portray uh, an awesome spaceship. And they're simple. So, like you don't really need to use all these complicated parts. Yeah. Use what you have at home. Yeah. This is great. Thank the, you. The use of a classic brick is nice to see as well. Yeah. So on the top portion of the build, you utilize a lot of those classic, uh, classic bricks. And then you got a radar dish at the front, like honestly. That's, that's classic you space. You classic need, space. You, you definitely need a radar dish for some classic space. Ooh. All right, Chris, next one up we have Ariel Fung, age eight, Calgary, Alberta. That's awesome. I love seeing young builders. Very cool, <laughs> trident, tri-point ship. Classic in terms Ooh, of that design. Look at the back. It's yeah. got a couple of things. Like it looks like it's got micro, are those guns? I can't tell. They might be. Yeah. You might have to see like a description or she might have to, to give us a heads up on what that is. I thought at first- They look like turret guns. Yeah, they might be turret guns. I thought maybe handles. this small one at the back actually detached as like a, yeah. as a drone. That would've been kind of cool, but I think- I right. thought so too. Like, you sure. know, I was really hoping that, but I love this, like wherever they took this photo on, it's actually, I like that, I like the background. It's just... definitely a unique color for sure for the photo. Very nice. cool ship. Very impressive for the age as well. Oh, what, what is, is this? this? Oh, Ben. Ben from Calgary. Ben Stevenson from Calgary did a fleet of ships. Rainbow fleet. That is super cool. So we have one main design and then it's replicated over five oh, different colors. Oh, that's cool. Is that the, are those the Olympic colors? Maybe, I mean, but if you look, the mini figs match also, the color of their ship. Yeah, that's, that's very cool. nice. And they're printed. I love the printed pieces. It's definitely a classic space like the very classic space that's that's the classic space logo printed part very cool love the fact that he rebuilt it over multiple different ships and like you said maybe these are the leaders of their own fleets and this is a shot of them all together right i believe ben submitted a few so he, he, let's check out what else he's built oh yes here's ben. another one from ben 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 submitted this one as well which is the alien Coming out and driving his his giant ship, which Huge. is very cool. This Grant, looks have, like a bit. Have you seen this one in person? I have. Yeah, yeah, this one was like at least. Wow. I hope I'm not saying the size wrong, but it's like two to three feet. It's huge. Yeah, it looks like that thing's heavy. It looks massive, considering the the size of the parts versus the scale of the overall ship. Yeah, that's huge. That's very cool, though. The, what are those one, two, three 
things on the side. Those are those turrets. Oh, these are just... spaceships. Yeah, they look like they might be a microship like launch ah. launch areas. You open that up, the little guys come out. That's nice. Defense, Very swarm good. defense. I know, I know we're just seeing photos, but like I really wonder if it spins. Like I don't know if any of these things do anything. But here's another one from Ben. Um, this is a micro ship, like armed to yeah. the teeth. So yeah, it's, it's it's a micro ship, but there's a lot going on in terms of firepower for sure. <laughs> We've got fire coming at the back. We've got the red and black gray color scheme. We've got at least two, four, six, eight different oh, turrets, yeah. <laughs> turret or gun area, if not more. Well, what about the binoculars at the top? Those look like they're rocket missiles. They probably are as oh well. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's a lot going on for, for this small this small of a ship. Also utilize the clear transfer awesome. please, to display it. Who yeah. do we have next? We have Benny Romero, age 19, USA. The Hawk Guardian. Nice. So this one's actually piloted by? Clone Trooper. Clone Trooper. It's cool. I don't think we've seen anyone piloted by a clone trooper. Not yet, at least. Yeah. Relatively small build, but mm -hmm. very cool. It utilizes some gold. We don't think we've seen any gold yet either. Yeah, those so, are the metallic gold pieces yeah. too. Not even just the pearl gold. The pearl gold. Yeah. This is the good one. Yeah, this is a this is a really cool build. Again, two turrets coming off the front, some back placed wings, uh, really interesting uh, color scheme in terms of the highlight colors the being the blue as well as that orange. And he built a stand for it. Like, I love it when people build stands to either give it some elevate to elevate the build or just to display it. Yeah, stuff. yeah, definitely. Ooh. Ooh, what do we got here? This is Brad Baldwin, age 46 from the USA. The Tiberian. Woo the Tiberian. Love that name. Hey, this is a aren't one. those all the parts that we got from our set? If you guys there's a are, fire tornado! If you guys are watching this, <laughs> there's a Ninjago video that we just released with the Fire Fang set. Yeah. And his thruster pieces are actually wow. the Ninja Go spin pieces, <laughs> which are pretty funny that he utilized that. So that's really cool. Crazy build though, it's really big. Yeah, it's got a lot of trans clear, a lot like he's really playing with that trans clear and trans orange yeah. and red. Like that color. That's like with the, the dark gray, very mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, that's a really, really nice. This looks like a, this looks almost like a ramming ship. The fact that it's like <laughs> point looks like he just like, if he runs out of firepower, because there's not as much guns on this one as most, so it's maybe nice. this one just, uh, it know, just spears its opponent. Down. Exactly, like maybe it's just flying through spaces that like, I can't stop. No. I need to get to where I need to go. Like it could be transporting prisoners for all we know, that's right? That's true. Who's the next one? What do we got next? Brady Gennett, age 13, from Winnipeg, Winnipeg Canada, from hey. Winnipeg. Nice. The, the Salvage. So this so, is the Salvage build, sorry, that was the name of the, uh, the, the build. Yeah. What do we it's got It's got going turrets on? on the top there. Yep. Um, very interesting connection because if you notice those, it looks like those studs are not actually connected to the, um, the brick itself. See, look, those, those sticks, the bars are coming out, but um, they look like they're just inserted so there's a way that those bars are inside the, the ship somehow so right 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 interesting yeah it's hard to tell exactly how things are built sometimes just from the photo because you don't get to see all the inter inter workings but i like the i like the fact that it utilizes some some color it's really yeah. easy in spaceship builds to just to get stuck in one or two colors like i did with my spaceship mm -hmm. build but this guy really went for it he went for, for some bold colors what is that front piece it looks That's, like Star Wars. It has to be. No, the, the clear piece where the cockpit oh. would be, it's curved. I'm not sure. Oh, the, the you mean the, the windshield? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks, why does it look? Oh, it's open now. No. Oh. Ah, my bad. <laughs> it was open in the middle in the middle picture, and I just didn't realize right. it looked like it was a vertical one. I, I see it now. Yeah, it's just the cockpit. Classic, piece. classic uh, wheel, wheel hubs yep. for? Wheel hub for the engines. Very cool. Very cool. What do we got here now? Callum. Callum, age 11. So we didn't get a ship name for this one. Um, Callum, if you do get a chance to see this video, definitely let us know what the ship name is and where you're from. We just wanted to give you a shout out. <gasps> Did he watch our video? He might have. Look at that. Those pew pews are flying I know. and it's being chased. I know. Yo, so, Callum, uh, that's cool. If you guys haven't seen it, go back and check out the ship box to mocks reveal that Chris and I did. Yeah. Chris actually did his mock for his spaceship and he had some fighters behind him that were shooting out some lasers and he raised them off the ground very similarly to the way Callum wow. just did. 
So oh. either Callum and Chris have really similar, similar designs or Callum saw it, which is awesome. Good stuff. But as we mentioned, this is a very sleek ship. I like the shape of the wings. Yeah. Like it's not just straight across, it actually comes up like an inverted V and then into the body, which is really cool. That's like taking, combining both of our ships. Yeah, totally. Right? With the prongs and then the, just extending the middle one. But it looks like it's like, it almost looks like it's a, trying to get away from the bad guys. Cause you know how stealth it is? I mean, it is getting yeah. shot at. So it I'm hoping it's, trying, at. I'm hope it's trying to get away. Very cool. No, this is very cool. I really like the uh, the fact that he built a, a ship in the background as well. Right. Like, anything with the scene is always yeah, nice. That's true. Story. Story is important. So thank you for telling us a story. Charlie Mole, age nine. This is awesome. Look at this little R2-D2 ship. Yes. Is it run by R2? It's called the Droid Escape. So this might be a Droid Escape pod. <laughs> it Similar is. to how C-3PO that... and uh, R2-D2 escaped in the pod in that's right. uh, New Hope. So Charlie did his cool. own version. So. He definitely did his own version. Yeah, so, I see oh, yeah, there three is. CPOs in there. C-3PO is inside. That's so cool. Okay, that's very, see, that's got all the right elements of a spaceship. You got a cockpit, yep. you got a control center. Uh, control center. There's some thrusters. Yep. And and it's got a removable top, so you can actually see inside. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. I think this is a great demonstration of what a spaceship is. A spaceship is really any sort of transportation system in space mm -hmm. that you can control. I think there's a lot of classic spaceship shapes that people fall into. Yeah where this is really cool. It's definitely outside the norm. It's outside the box by being a box. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Charlie. Good job, that's awesome. I believe Charlie sent in, he might have sent in another one. I'm not sure. Well, we'll get to it. Chris Bird and the Red Lobster. Mm -hmm. This is a very cool build. I remember, uh, Chris, thank you for giving us a shout out on Instagram. This was an awesome build. And thank you for submitting such a sweet ship. Like yeah. this is a micro fight, like basically it's, Micro scale. This is definitely micro scale. This in real life would be huge. There's nowhere that an actual mini fig would sit in here. Right. Because the scale would just, it would be thrown off. This is in real life a huge ship, but built at a more micro scale, this like you said. Very, very cool ship. And I love the red, love the different um, colors that are that he's using, especially with the light gray. And there's some trans black in there too. That, that really kind of just- Hard to see in the photos, but it it's there. I like the off-centered nose piece, the oh, thing yeah. that comes off the side. I don't know what those things are. Maybe like a radar? It, it's probably a radar. It probably pings out like a sonar. Right. So you get something back. But I like how it's off-centered, which is nice. Also, the back of the ship, the back half, does it look yeah. like, it, like an F1 car? Totally. It looks like an F1 car, which is really cool. The one funny thing in this photo um, is look at the hand. He took apart a minifig hand and like the one that, holding the great one the one holding yeah, like yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. like that could be a can yeah totally. right like a, just a turret yeah yeah nice. that's super cool i want to see the back engine portion because it looks really cool and it looks like it's oh oh we don't get to see it in this photo yeah okay well from the very first photo uh can we see it in this one sorry we got a bit of glare i like the i like these engine pieces it looks like they they come off in like a really unique sort of way they're they're spread out instead of all facing one right. direction they kind of they kind of have a fanning effect here. I think you're right because if you look if you look at the other photo, there's a Ferrari sticker on it. Ah. So not this one, but I think it was the top front view because we're looking underneath right now. Uh, this is the top view. I see it. Top so, of the yeah. back up you there. You see the Ferrari? Yeah, it's like the hood of the Ferrari. Exactly. It's very cool. So it's, it is definitely Ferrari inspired. That's awesome. Smooth, I love it. Smooth ship. That's a very smooth ship. Next. This one, cool Avenatte. 16 from Cloverdale, BC. Uh, Falcorian Mark II. I love, like when I saw this submission, I love the background that he used because mm. it's wood and it's got a really nice contrast. This is just photo, taking photos of your spaceship. <laughs> this was a really nice touch because it was very elegant. It's white and my thought was minimalist, mm. like very minimalist. It doesn't use up that many pieces to convey the shape, but it's, it's just simple. Yeah, silhouette is really important. You should be able to convey the shape of your ship yeah. in a few pieces, and then all the details come in to bring it together. But this really shows how you can utilize a few colors with great silhouette to really convey what a spaceship could be. The way I was looking, I was looking at this one is it could definitely be like one of those um, special forces because it's all white. Oh yeah, it's slick. It's like the elite they call it. Yeah, uh, basically. That's right. I don't know. It, it also just, says Mark II, which Mark II. I'm pretty sure anything you 
Amy S's Mark II kind of <laughs> gets to you. It's so good. It's, like a, it's a good ship. Good job, Cole. Yes, and it's run by a droid, which is cool. Then we have Elam Fung and oh, H5. This Ariel is, and Elam Fung. Yeah, yeah. Ariel and, um, and Elam. I'm assuming their siblings are both Calgary H8, and then Elam is H5. This is cool. It's police. Look it's at police the, spaceship. Look at the uh, the wing choice there for a spaceship. That's awesome. That that vibrant purple color. It's nice. And utilizing the the red and blue trans pieces to mm -hmm. convey that police feel. Oh yeah. Wee -wee. Like if you if you see Lights. that combination, you automatically think police. Yeah, for sure. But the purple is like, like you know that uh, <laughs> police is usually like stealth. Yeah. They they got that black and white, but. Can you imagine a police spaceship chasing you with purple wings? If a police like, car was purple and chasing <laughs> me, I would be pulled over immediately. I'm like, what the heck? That's awesome. It's, it's so cool. That's a nice classic Chima piece. So the wow. Chima really introduced like the organic wings. Okay. So this is a really nice choice for that. Good job. That's super awesome. We got next one? to you, this is uh, Erwin uh, Flock Anderson. Age 11. Age 11. Wow, age 11? This is some really um, well thought out design. Hey, there's some Nexonites shields. We were, just yeah. looking, we were just looking at those this morning. This got a, this has to be micro scale. And it, cause it's got a flag, yep. it's got those little turrets. Um, and he used those, um, the spring, uh, spring loaders, spring loaded blasters as some sort of like, yeah, on, on that side are, that they're loaded in. Well, he, look, he's got the next one night shield yeah. and it's indicating arrows. So maybe he's telling us fire it here. So okay. it shoots upward. Do you That's, know what I mean? That's Oh, you think it's a volley? Maybe. A volley, like four go exactly. up and they rain down. That's, I see that, what you, I think that would not be Not even it. four, there's four on the other side too. We switch pictures. Are you <gasps> see, that's so, okay. Can you imagine a volley of eight coming down on you? That would be sick. Yeah, and this is like micro scale. So can yeah. you imagine how big those volleys are? Like, well, they're like, yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> if you take the size of the ship, think about it as micro scale, then take the size of the ammunition, yeah. you're, you're gonna destroy it. That, this that, is this, a heavy armored ship. Exactly, you're like, what if you go up against this? You, well, look, it's 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 got rock pieces. Yeah. So it's definitely got armor. Yeah, It's this is heavy arms for sure. Oh, is that like part of it? It's gotta be part of it. Yeah, it looks like another micro ship that's uh, taking oh, off. Oh, it's a ship. Uh, very cool. I'm not sure if nice. this is a separate entry, I don't remember. Yeah. But this uh, also has a has a little yeah, microchip cool. that comes with it. There's, yeah, there's quite a few micro guys. We're just gonna go through. Oh yeah, they're now they're there all together. All together. So yeah, there's a. It's pretty much like maybe it's like a ragtag group of people. Maybe that like that ship carries all these things, mm -hmm. and then it's just a bunch of like maybe space pirates put together. That Man, I, if space pirates have that kind of ammunition, that's, that's scary. Well, that's why you don't mess with space pirates. I know, it's true. Good stuff. Nice. Good job. Very nice. Okay, now we've got Ethan Veen, age 16, from Bellevue, uh, Belleville, sorry, Ontario. He's got quite a few ships here, so let's see if we can get through them. This one's called the Lightning. The Lightning. Better be a fast ship it's called the Lightning. I it looks speedy. It, it looks very speedy. It definitely reminds me of Ninjago, like the lightning um, character in there. Is there a lightning guy? Zane? No, is Zane is... I don't know, I thought the blue character was lightning. Or was he water? Mm, I think Zane is ice, actually. Oh. Cold, maybe? No? I'm not sure. Can't remember exactly. Someone in the comments would tell us exactly <laughs> which one is the... There is a lightning one, for yeah. sure. So, like the trans blue, very cool. What are those, what are those wing pieces? Those they look like them. swords, like they're giant they're swords. Huge. Definitely. Look at the wingspan on that. I wonder who was wielding that or <laughs> what set that was from. I, it's got to be from a Ninjago set. Like that, one of the Samurai Ninjago sets, probably. Mm -hmm. Ethan, tell us exactly what set that was from. We'd love to know. He's also submitted uh, another one. Ooh. I like how all his <laughs> all his cockpits are like laying down. They're not like sitting up, they're like, they're yeah. like chilling. Yeah. They're, like, <laughs> You're, you're kind of like um, floating through space in uh, relax mode. Yeah, not in fighting mode. Once you go into fighting mode, you're gonna sit up and, and strap in. This one actually uses a a barred fence on the top, which <laughs> is gate. cool. A gate, yeah. like see, that's every super part unique. can be a spaceship part. That's so true. Some cool printed pieces as well, uh, and then another white and blue color scheme. This one opens. Oh, up. it's a prison. Oh, that's why it's a. So he's got a bounty hunter. And, uh, and a bad guy, and he's putting him in jail. There we go. What's now, the name of this ship? This one's called Fortress. Ah, uh, Fortress. 
So you can't get out of it. Once no. he catches you, You're you can't leave. And you've got to lay down there. It looks like he's got a Han Solo and Carbonite as well. Oh, which this got has to be another spaceship. Oh, oh this, this is the same is, one. This is okay. Fortress. This is the... Uh... Okay, then I guess that was the ending of the Fortress one. Yeah. Maybe it's the, uh, the backside. Maybe, maybe it was a twist where... <gasps> The bad guy took over the ship Maybe. and he froze the guy in carbonite. That would be great. Oh, what a, a twist. This needs a story itself. We need, Definitely. To, hear, we need to hear the story. Ethan. Good job, buddy. Good job. Gabriel Holleran, USA. This ship is called Ship. <laughs> I don't think he named the ship. I know. I think it's just a ship. Well, this is pretty cool. This is a relatively large scale ship. Oh, a lot look at of that. Cool angular pieces yeah. to it. Yeah. I not... can't tell where the front is. I think this is this from this photo. Mm. The top is the front, right? Just based off of the back section here, looks like an engine. Because it has got that trans blue as well, eh? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Let's see if we can get a different angle. Oh, uh, this is this guy. That's got to be the front. But look at that. Looks like a massive like hyper gun or something. Maybe. That's like from the front. Very yeah. cool. Again, another cool color scheme in terms of like that classic -y space gray and then some red for the highlights. Very cool build. Very Star Wars. Very Star Wars. Glenn Rivero, age 45, from Calgary. When I saw this entry, this thing is huge. Is it? Yeah. It's like, like if I was, um, if I was a kid again, this is the spaceship I would build as a kid. This thing has so many different components. Just flip through the photos, you'll see. It's like, a spaceship you probably ride as a kid. Is that big? <laughs> it's huge. But just look at, is there a minifig up there in that dome? D yes, this is definitely minifig scale. Look at that. Whoa. See? It's, it looks like something, there's a car, so that means it's able to hold giant spaceships. Yeah, definitely. So it's like a transport. So you can land, you can go through space, land, yeah. get in the car, and go to your destination. Well, the Revenant seems to be more like a battle cruiser. Mm. Like it's built for battle. So as in like, thing if battle. it's coming for your planet, it's there to like take over. Well, we have, Oh, a cockpit. Look at we that. have a very detailed cockpit. A lot of printed parts utilized. There's definitely a lot going on and a lot to control because this ship has got a lot going on. Look at the detail Just, of this ship. It, it's got, it looks like it can be four different spaceships. Maybe. No, two? I don't know. Maybe. It looks like the front half with a circular portion stop. Could split. Could split. That'd be yeah. cool if you send it off as like a... as I'm, a smaller piece. I'm turning my head so I can see like all the different sections but man this is like it's a lot to look at all the trans clear green that yeah quote, yeah it's definitely built for like war nicely done man that's a really cool build there's a lot going on gustav gustav fourth age 13. the task win hey, that's very close to edmonton <laughs> planet lander so if you think that planet lander do you think this is like a like a planet hopper, it looks like it looks for like habitable planets, or what does that mean? Well, basically, like I'm thinking, he's got look, notice the back part, it does look like oh, there it is, it does come off. There it is, okay. there's a planet lander, oh. so it carries the planet lander over. Okay, so the actual spaceship part in the left here is the planet lander. Yes. And then the ship ship is... Does it take, it, does, does it, take it with it? I, well, does the, the ship ship go into space? I think it does. Really? I, I think it's a spaceship boat that's flying in space and it's carrying this with it. Because they need to... Maybe that stays in space and then the other one drops yeah. into... Drops to land? Yeah. Gustav. Kind of like the lunar, lunar lander? That sure, is sure, good sure. So they goose up. Let us know in the comments below. These are just speculations, of course. These are just our opinions. So yep. you tell us what it is. You tell us exactly what it is in the comment section below. Now, one thing I really like is get the, one of the photos that I did see, uh, he did show a detail of the insides, okay. as well as like that lunar lander has like a central central core that shows uh, nuclear things. Oh. See? So it's Danger, definitely explosive gases. That's all the fuel and stuff. So I like that extra level of detail. He's got a he's got a fuel source. Yeah, it's important. You can't you can't land on different planets. You don't have a fuel source. And here's the um, cockpit itself, inside housed inside of the dome. Oh, there's somebody in it. Yeah, there's okay, somebody inside cool. that top dome piece. Christoph, Christoph. Uh, it might be Char or Car. Yeah, Char A Car A. I'm not quite sure. Florida, USA. Florida, BF nine. Laramar. 
I love the colors on this thing. This is a really, really cool color scheme. Also, this was obviously taken inside of a light box, it looks like. So there's some really good lighting to it. It helps the colors mm -hmm. a lot because this this color needs a good lighting, I think, to, to really stand out. So at first, I thought this was a computer render. Mm. I it took me a while to figure out because these colors are so surreal. Like the background is lavender, but I don't often see this many color for this part. Like it's such a unique spaceship color, it's really cool. That's true. I don't think I've ever seen a spaceship specifically built in this. It's like a mint green, is that what it is? Yeah. It's like mint green. Almost. With and then underneath the underneath the uh, Photoshop there, um, that is sand green. Sand green, yeah. So like I'm like, wow, it's it's mint green and sand green. Love the colors and I don't know. I'm just I mean the sh the, the shape itself, super unique has this really cool Y shape to it yeah. with the main thrusters coming out in the back. Um, good detail on the underside, nice and smooth on the underside, as well as obviously nice and smooth all around. Mm -hmm. Has a cockpit, has weapons, very cool use of the ventilation system. Oh, I like those. Wings. Really neat, not just like the regular slanted vents mm -hmm. or the, the slotted vents that we use. That one looks uh, a little bit more unique and it looks like it pivots. There's definitely some pivoting that can go on with that because it's on a hinge. It looks like a fighter jet from the future. Yeah. You know like what I mean? Like I'm thinking I could see this in an anime. Probably something like uh, Ghost in the Shell or something. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Nice. Yeah, very Good cool. Job. Very cool. I like that one a lot. Hudson and Mike. H6. Uh, yep, from Ontario, Canada. The bomber rocket. The bomber rocket. So cool. I love the background they took us on. It almost looks like it's water underwater. So this ship yeah. is either in a universe where it's just like crazy colorful, they're flying around with like these asteroids around it, or it's a spaceship that can also go underwater. Again, it's hard you to tell see. us in the comment yeah. section below so we can read it and see exactly what your inspiration was. Now, also too, what I pointed out with this photo was the rock. I, I haven't seen anybody use a rock as part of their photo. Right. So he, he literally took yeah. um, rocks from his from outside or like his collection and put it on his bed just for to take a photo. Sure. So he's immersing us in the universe. Yeah, he thought about he thought about scene when he was taking photos. It wasn't story. Just, it wasn't just about taking a photo ship. Yeah. It was about placing it somewhere in the universe, which is really cool. And I think this ship is almost like like I know it's bomb bomb rocket, but it to me I thought it was a pirate ship because it's got a treasure chest. It does. So if it's got the water, it's got the rocks. I just felt like it was a space pirate ship, another this, pirate ship. I like the all the different pieces and colors that go to it. It looks kind of like a makeshift. Like this pirate has plundered and looted, uh -huh. and scavenged, made yes. a scavenged ship parts. Yeah. Put it all together. He's got his bounty. He's got his loot in front of him in his chest. And he just goes from, from place to place, just, right. just scavenging and getting what he can. Very, very cool build. Nice. And Jazz. Jazz, Jazz Schaffer, H5 Calgary. The Sky Quasar, I love that name, by the way. The Sky, Sky Quasar, Quasar. Yeah. very cool. So this is a front on view. So let's just see if we can get, uh, oh, back as well. I wanna see if we can get a quarter angle. Jazz, thank you for thank smiling. You, thank you for putting <laughs> in there as well. You, oh, there's a side. You're there. awesome. So we've got, uh, Again, a good use of colors. He utilized yep. a nice, tall, uh, translucent piece for the windscreen. Windscreen. Yeah. That piece is is hard to use as a windscreen in an actual ship because of the, right. the studs that uh, has to be very vertical. Yep. So it's cool that he used that, and he used it by uh, building up a very square cockpit area, which is cool. It's got everything it that does. a spaceship needs, right? Totally. It's got and a he's using War Machine. That's my that's my boy. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's it. I love War Machine and <laughs> Iron Man and Air, all those guys. So of thank you, you so much for using him as a pilot. Way to Chris's heart is doing anything. <laughs> Iron Man, very cool. Nicely done. And extra bonus for selfies. <laughs> now this one is the computer rendering. This one's definitely right? this one's definitely a render for sure. Um, we. We'll talk more about renders maybe in the next video. Sure. But this ship is pretty cool. The color scheme is awesome. Yeah, definitely. I like I like the fact that it's Star Wars universe and yeah. because the contest is spaceship, 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 that's definitely from Benny and Benny would really love this ship. Definitely. It also could be an Ikea fleet. <laughs> oh God. The color I, scheme. With a Corv like a Hammerhead Corvette style. Hammerhead Corvette nice. style, yeah. But this is very cool. Um, this one was rendered using a 3D program. 
so you can get a, a lot of really good photos with it obviously from different angles and you have unlimited use of parts this thing's going fast yeah look at how many of course right thrusters it has in the back if each one of those lights up your lights speed for sure well i mean i guess based on the hammerhead design like it's meant for ramming right right like you want to get that speed so you can just smash into those ships or push them where do you th where do you think the cockpit is on this oh um, because he uses a trans yellow at the front which is generally an indication of cockpit right but as a ramming machine can you That's imagine true. sitting there as you ram someone i'd be so scared Captain, this is not a good idea <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, oh my god again um but for, i think that could be for, a star wars design right? maybe for jonah hurst 829 usa sorry we didn't say it earlier uh, let us know in the comment section below where the cockpit would be and if you really are front and center when you're going for a ram if that's what the ship is i mean for. would you not want to be there to see the other ship like collide like just like hey anybody want front row seats like shot them right you, like you can literally say hello to them and you're inside yeah. like hi and then you back up exactly right. moving on this is uh jordan morgan jordan morgan age 18 usa the dark hunter so this uh this guy in particular um jordan his uh instagram is called bricks separator i don't know if you've seen him but bricks, he's Br bricks separator yeah he's got a big giant spaceships like he's oh the, the giant ship that looked like a brick separator yeah yeah, oh, was, yeah yeah or no no it wasn't that one it was oh. um it was a black ship 13 feet long that one yes. oh what was it called again has an awesome sorry. trans blue the back is yeah all trans that's the blue. one so he I, this is very him gotcha gotcha right like this is his style and i i love the fact that it's black and trans blue he has a theme he has he likes that obviously he loves trans blue which yeah. is a great color he likes them dark he builds a lot in a lot of black mm -hmm. for the ships with just the trans blue kind of highlighting it yeah so that's his that's his theme that's his style very very cool and i love the fact those color combinations just reminds me of tron like it's such a good color combo mm. i wish i could build a bit more often but it's hard to get the blacks to stand out right um it's just especially in different lighting conditions it's so hard to photograph them sure. but he did a good job look at this thing it's like this is like the the rebel logo turned sideways <laughs> Right? I, I it looks, it it. looks kind of like that, which is cool. Yeah. But the spaceship orientation to have the top and the bottom prongs being placed vertically oriented instead of out from the sides is definitely unique and really, really cool. And the cockpit is floating in there. Yeah. yeah. So cool. What's this ship called again? This one was called the Dark, Dark Hunter. Hunter. Nice. Yeah. Very on theme for him if you've seen his other, other builds you're right. Next, we have Kanesh Shivashkati. Uh, Shiva Shak. Sorry for butchering. Hold on. Me. Let me try that one more time. We have Kanesh. Shiva Shakti. Sorry. Thank you. Got ahead of myself. From Malaysia? From Malaysia, age 13. Very cool. New Samas. Uh, does that mean anything in your language? I'm New not Samas sure. V1, something. We can't see it on this preview. Sorry, we'll make sure it's close like to Space them. Police? Maybe. You like Space Police? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe. Uh, so this is really cool. It actually looks like. Uh, almost like hovercrafty yes. in terms of the silhouette with that giant back engine yeah so maybe it can traverse space sky and mm. seas you never know well, what is that amphibious? amphibious i don't know if it's because right. amphibious is land and water well, but now you got maybe space. it's space i don't space know stibious. is there a name for that <laughs> maybe it's just a ship someone google it <laughs> uh tell me what the ship is so this ship i what i like about it is it's it kind of has um it's got a ship like a teeth design at the front if you notice it's actually got a face mm, that's true. right like I, you don't often see those kind of ships where they people emulate like a, an animal face almost like um what am i thinking your power rangers ah right right so, with an animal emulated into the machinery itself so. yeah definitely it has some like uh, sharp bangage at the front it looks like there's eyes it has a definite uh contour that you might see in, in an animal and look at this giant thruster on the back yeah that's a that's... definitely cool piece this is going fast for sure <laughs> and again another cool use of uh use of colors that's an awesome um cockpit as well right so yeah, that one's like from. That one. cool color we have another, another one now from kanesh as well oh. uh h13 from malaysia so this is similar i think in terms of the how he utilized the circular pieces yeah. for the wings but this one is i would say more classic spaceship right. yeah. yeah very cool he's got 
He's got the flames. <laughs> this is an in-action shot. It's, he is going fast. That's He's true. going places. And you know what? I think that's uh, Kinesh's signature style. That those rings on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that is. We can definitely tell it's his. That's so, true. Good stuff. That, that's cool to see people's builds over over time and be like, oh, I know that's that guy because. Right. Yeah, that's but very cool. If you look back, like even with Ethan, Ethan had like two different spaceships. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of some people have their own that's style, true. right? Ooh, well, this one. What's this one? This is the LL nine two eight. M Mark II, sorry. So this one is, this one's a rendering, but I believe he also built it in real life. Uh, Christoph Frakowiak, I can't pronounce the last name, I'm so sorry. Um, from Poland. Yeah, and H20. Unfortunately, not very well fluent in the Polish language, but. What's the name of this ship? Uh, Oops, oh, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> <laughs> like right there. LL928 Mark, Mark II. I don't know what I'm those not, numbers are. I don't think it's surrendering. No, well, I don't know either. I think this is just... He just did a really good job for... See, I, I think this is just us. a good photograph wow. with some, like, uh, with some effects on it. In my opinion. Maybe it's a rendering, but... He's also got a that's lander. Cool. It looks very similar to, like, cool. an, an OG, like, moon lander. That's... I think that that almost looks like a Lego set. Like, the way like it this. looks. Yeah, yeah, that could definitely be a set, for sure. You can see that one like a small volley bag or lander of some sort. I'm but really not familiar with classic Lego space. Okay, wait a minute. What if the one in the back is mm -hmm. the original and then he modified it to be the real one? Like the the mock modern one? Maybe. But classic space doesn't use that many parts in my opinion. Like it's much no. more simplified. The one in the back I think is even still too detailed. Maybe. I'm not sure. Like this is definitely a really nice fighter. It's def Oh, see? Oh, Maybe. that is the OG. Is it? Oh, that oh has it's, to be. it's more simplistic when you see it in, For sure. in person. No, you're right. Okay, this picture was way better. So he utilized the shapes, he utilized the a lot of the uh, con or the uh, what do you call it? The silhouette. Yeah. And details from the first one, but he made it smoother, he made it more detailed, he made it sleeker. Uh, Mark II. Yeah, Mark II. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry, we're, we're so slow. slow. But this is, I like how there's a old one and a new one. Okay, so speaking of that, so Starfleet Voyager one. Mark II. So is this a remake as well? Ah, uh, there it is. Let's go. Oh, so what? This, there's <gasps> there's another, another one. There. Oh, that's cool. So this is, wow. This is like a, a different take from box to box that we do, where we take a box and, and remake it into something yeah. new. He takes an existing set and updates but it. updates it. That's cool. So this is like, when you're watching a 360 YouTube video and all of a sudden it hits HD, mm. right? Like it all of a sudden upgrades 4K? into 4K. <laughs> like, oh, there's the details. Right, you're like, what, 360? And then they're like, get hit by all the details. <laughs> That's awesome, I love, the, I love the idea behind it. And the ships are obviously amazing. Kyle Robert Herring, age, I wanna say 17 from USA. So this one was named, we don't have the full name, it's called the Democratic Republic. Something. Something. I'm thinking pro. But Pro. off the top of my memory. So what we're thinking is, this to me looked like like a mining probe of some sort, maybe, mm -hmm. or a mining machine. It's got some crazy claws, right. maybe digging, or maybe picking up um, like rare material, like an asteroid or something like that. Um, what, were you, what were you saying about it before? So the other one was, um, what I was thinking was inside the cockpit there, right. the minifig was using like some sort of life vest or armor. Mm -hmm. Like I was thinking this is more militarized because clearly I'm thinking that he's trying to show that he was armored or so, something. So this is a life vest. So normally that'd be utilized in an aquatic scene, yes. but because we know this is a spaceship, yeah. you think he's utilizing it to show an armor? Yeah, like body okay. armor, right? Okay, yeah, maybe. So, no, that's definitely definitely a good good thought. This this definitely, in my opinion, gets a lot of groundwork. Mm -hmm. It's an all gray scheme. Right. Like they didn't yeah. go fancy to like do something crazy colors, like in terms of whatever person built it. Mm -hmm. They're like this is a working machine. This is going to get down and dirty. So um, definitely a cool build. And we got flames coming to the back. So you know it's an action. It's got all the right pieces. It's got all the wheels and all, all that. Yeah. So good spaceship. Definitely a good spaceship. I like it. Now this one Look, is block a big fleet. Age 17, Calgary Battle Group. Head or something. Hedron? Oh, I can't see it. We'll, we'll put the full name. Sorry about that. The preview on the TV, or the preview on how we're viewing it is just a little bit. So. 
limited. Like, it's a lot of ships. This, this is a lot to take into. This is a lot going on here. So we can't we can't review all of them. The basic general idea is that this guy loves making ships. This guy <laughs> makes <laughs> awesome fleets. Canada. Um, each, Look at the flag. Canada flag and it represents. Um, but no, this is, I don't even know what to say about this. This is- It's micro, this, micro scale, but like literally, can you imagine we put, if if he did build this for this contest, that's a lot of spaceships to build. Yeah. But so, he went all out. A lot of, uh, from what I've seen, it looks like some of these might've been pre-built, like from, from other events, obviously, and stuff like yeah. that. Oh. So, I mean, you can do either way, mm -hmm. um, but this, this specific, I'd love to see this in a convention set up in a display of oh, some yes. sort with a yeah. little bit of like scenage to it. Obviously, he had to take photos of them, so it becomes a little bit limited. Well, I mean, if we're allowed to display publicly, I mean, yeah. by all means, build cons yeah. coming up. We'd build love to have you there. Like this is these are awesome builds. Yeah, for anyone local, if you're if you're seeing this, uh, we will be doing public displays inside New Horizon Mall. So if yeah. you guys are willing to do a display, we'd love to work with you to set it up and have it displayed for everyone to see. Send us an email. Definitely, we'll send you guys an email too. Uh, there's more details here, more micro fighters. This is a huge fleet, so we're gonna have to move, on, of move on through these pictures, but these are- these I are like how they're all different. They are all like, different. Usually whenever I build a fleet, I would like to have like two or three of the same ships. Just repeating your parts. Just repeating, right? But I, I understand that you might've been limited to your Lego, but like really uh, an ideal fleet for me would be having similar ships that are the same in this, in kind of like that same scene. Cause maybe, some, maybe yeah. his idea, or maybe <clears throat> to expand that, maybe this is the catalog of ships available. Oh, and when you go to yes. send it a fleet, you'd have like one. Yes, and choose your fighter. You choose your fighter and then you get all your little fleets oh, that go with cool. it. So you'd actually only have two or three. That's but this cool. is like, Did I pick your pick your ship. I also like the drone, the drone style one. That's, I like that one. It's, it's very different. It's really different. I'm gonna, If I were to go with the battleship, definitely the big one. Oh, like yeah. I'm gonna go with those. It's a massive destroyer. Oh. Mallow. Um, Le Fair. Le Sorry, it's French. 18. 18. From yes. France. That's so cool. It's a space taxi. I love that. Oh, it's, it's called space taxi. It's literally used for a function in space. Yeah. Like we don't often get like a garbage truck or That's something so that has an occupation. We just get spaceship. This one, it's got can we, can we do that for our next spaceship theme build? What's a spaceship occupational or <laughs> occupational spaceships? Like a service industry? Choose your industry. Something like a <laughs> EMS or right. like you said, a garbage truck would be hilarious. But this space taxi is really cool. It kind of reminds me of like Fifth Element style. Yeah. In terms of like the open cockpit oh. with the headrest and then it just like yes. comes flat out. Fifth Element, that's a good movie. That's yeah. a lot of good inspiration. Yeah, definitely. Also, really great photography, some good depth of field. Um, in this picture, which is nice to see. You can tell who the driver is because he's wearing blue. Like you can tell that he's representing oh, his yeah. company because he's, he's wearing blue. He's also got that perfect hat on. That's like, right. The logo would be right on his hat. And I think she would give him a five, five star rating. Yeah, the space suit with the space taxi. Space taxi. Is definitely getting, like, like, look at the smiling she yeah, has. She's happy customer. She's job. definitely happy. Uh, this build is super cool. Whoa! How okay. fast is this taxi moving? It's like double the size of its head. Wow. Yeah, no, you could definitely, maybe it's like an interstellar, like intergalactic one where you're like hop. Oh, you're just like light speed hopping, just like, yeah. like exactly. one to another. Oh, you're getting places for sure. Like, I wonder what the fare on this is. God. It can't be by time. It's definitely <laughs> by distance. By light speed? <laughs> light years, sorry? By light years. Whoa. Um, this is Mark Heitzinger. 45 USA Lagoon Platoon Patrol ship. I'm gonna say ship. Ship could be longer, but it's probably ship. It reminds me a lot of the, um, the colors itself. It reminds me of the Ewing from Star Wars, like okay. Rogue Rogue One, I believe. Okay. Um, it just it's got that white and blue style to it, but it's it's definitely a fighter. I like this ship. I like the way that the wings come up. So there's the main body. You can see the main body, mm -hmm. but it's wrapped with the wings almost oh, around it. Oh, I see it. what you mean. So you have the smooth outer body, which yeah. you would normally leave exposed, mm -hmm. but in this one, he used the wings to even wrap further. Right. So there's like some interesting layers there. I feel like, I wonder if it opens. Well, let's see. Like, it, no, it, no, it doesn't. doesn't. But imagine like that ship 
going into a planet's surface, like it's definitely going fast. Yeah. It's super aerodynamic. Yeah. I would think, I would like to see if, if I was thinking the same thing, those wings open up and slide back like this. Oh, I think that'd be yes. really cool. Very true. Like Lamborghini door style or something yeah. like, or just like moves backwards. That would be really cool. And of course we have um, some huge thrusters on the back as well. For sure. Uh, there's some greebling on there too. Yeah. I like it. There's a lot of good detail in that one. Matthew Jung, age 16, from California. Hey, California. Matthew's Starfighter. This is... It's his personal one. So it's got to be his like personal choice. So and if he was if he was in the cockpit, this is what he'd be rolling with. Yeah. Like this is a space wing. Well, I mean, just even look at... I love that mint. I know. Like that sand green, and then now he's using the dark version of it. I know. So it just... We have to do a sand green build. I, I kind of want to. Man. You have yeah. those dragons. Which dragons? Those dragon sets. Those, those ones that we uh, picked up before. Oh. In sand green. Anyway. We'll have to look at we'll look at that. Okay, something that I really like is the... And I have to zoom in on it probably during the post-production. Where the cockpit is, just outside of that, oh. the layering of those shapes, it's like, it gets slightly smaller, gets slightly smaller. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to describe He's it. He's got it. For Chris, it's like these ones. Oh! I don't know, they look cool. Just like those layers yeah. is like really... Well, I like how he built his ship then. So he built it sideways. Yeah. Like he, he did do snotting all around. He must have. Wow. I mean, even on the bottom, you can see in this, in this section here, Chris, that that's studs down. Those studs are facing down. Sorry for everyone, you can't see it's that. So good. Um, this is a really cool ship. Let's go that's... to the next picture. We oh, so the, it does expand. Wow. Okay. Sensei Wu. Sensei Wu. <laughs> there he is. I mean, maybe. Matthew, that's awesome. You got to bring your sensei with you, especially if you're like training in space. What if cool. he's teaching you? The bottom, the bottom of the ship opens up, similar to like oh. uh, a Star Wars ship, yes. like console, like the Millennium Falcon opens yep. up that way. There's a lot of ships in the Star Wars um, universe. Jango Fett's bounty, right? Slave one, Slave yeah. one, yeah, yeah. I like oh, that. Oh, it does have function. Oh, yeah. So it literally has a landing mode. Yeah, the the. Oh, that's cool, Matthew. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Those side wings yeah. actually rotate. It does down. rotate. That's cool. I thanks for showing us that. Oh, there's more. No way, Matthew. Does it no. actually rotate? Look, he's showing us. I there's know. mechanisms. There's gears inside. Wow. Yes. We're going to have to... Okay, Matthew, you see this. Mm -hmm. Put a comment somewhere to where we can watch a video of yep. it. I want to see it. Send us a video or, or put it on your stories so that it, we can share it. Share it to everyone, yeah. Yo, this, this is, really is so cool. good, Matthew. So you think that the wings, you don't have to I, manually? You just no, rotate I think he rotates. Oh. He puts something in. Okay, look, it's Matthew's personal ship. He has to, right? This good is so stuff. Good. California, do you want to come up and display this in Edmonton, Alberta? That'd be really great. Yeah, bring <laughs> your friends. If you got friends that build just like you, this is awesome. <laughs> That's a really great build. Plus, the mint green, it matches the decor on the table. <laughs> <laughs> that earthy wood? The earthy, yeah. No, the green... Oh, the, the green box. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not making fun, it's just cool. It's like a little Easter egg. No, it's awesome. awesome. Uh, Michael Thomas, age 19, Fort Wayne, you... Fort Way in USA. Police cruiser. police cruiser. Another police cruiser. So we've got a lot of police ships to manage the, the fleet the of ships out here. You have to. Because, I mean, we saw a lot of space pirates. We did see a lot yeah, of space pirates. Yeah, we have pirates. a lot of, like... There's a lot of plundering ships, for sure. <laughs> space is not safe. Like, if you got all those ships... It's a lawless land. Oh, my God. But this is a micro scale. This is this is a really cool one. Mike, thank you for submitting this. Yes. Um, and also, like, sharing it on your Instagram and tagging us. Uh, for all the guys who are on Instagram, please don't forget to tag us. After the contest is done, go at it. I know you guys are secretive about your um, builds because you don't want to give it away, but now you can share all your spaceships. Yes, please. Tag us. This is very smooth. He used um, a lot of slant parts to mm -hmm. make the top smooth, but I like how he built out um, these main wings. Yeah. He, he built them like flat instead of like the studs are facing forward right and like these big wedge pieces just layer on top of like regular blocks like it doesn't look blocky even though there's not that many parts utilized that's for that true. that front front section that's really cool and it's it looks like a prison so honestly i don't want to be for trapped sure. in this ship. look at those look at those like blue like oh, the shield it looks holes. like they cryo like freeze oh, you freeze because you don't know how long you're going right that's right like oh my god that's kind of scary no, you definitely don't want to be apprehended in this thing. See, look at that. Yeah, that's so cool. Very nice. Thank you for all the great photos. This is, this helps us out. Definitely. 
Milt uh, Miltiades uh, Geonos, age 31, from, from Greece. Greece. That's oh. our first one from Greece, right? Yeah, first so. one from Greece. Um, oh, this one has Antron, a funny... Marvelous Q, Q something, something. Quinjet. Quinjet. Quinjet? The, yeah, it's uh, from the Marvel... Like, the Marvel Universe has these jets as their motor for transportation. So oh. Iron Man uses it. I think Iron Man made it in the Marvel Universe. So he used it as inspiration, but he put Mtron, which is a classic Lego space theme. You so, were saying the Mtron set was from back in the day. Yeah. That classic classic, right? Yep. Yeah, it's so something cool. that I grew up with. So I wish, I, it, these sets are so hard to come by, are they? but he used parts from that a theme and applied it. So is it, that, nice. is it that trans limey? Yeah. Greeny color and, and red and the red. That's the, the yeah. classic look too. And the black. black. It's a lot darker than what you'd expect from other classic space Lego yeah. sets, which is lighter gray with blues. Yes. And then it's kind of feel it's kind of weird that Lego went from a really light theme and then they went dark. There's a version of Lego that just went all black with me. This is obviously part of that universe. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, well the ship obviously is really great. <laughs> There's a lot going on. We we'll talked about the set itself more, but uh I mean, there's a Batman logo. There you go. Oh yeah, nice. so he used some of the Batman yeah, I can see um, parts, but yeah, cool. still, regardless, it's it. I could see Batman riding this ship too. Is that cool? It's dark enough. Yeah, it's dark it's enough. It's definitely dark enough. Yeah, he did, he did bring it up though with enough light pieces so that you can see the details. When you're building with a lot of black, it can be hard to distinguish between the shapes. So it's really nice how he used just enough bright colors so you can tell what everything is. But that trans neon. I know that trans neon is so good. It's it's so subtle. Yeah. Like you don't need to put it everywhere. Look well, at it's that. It's really bright. It's bright. So you only need a few of them to really stand out. Yeah. Unless you're doing that that volley ship. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that volley ship. Eight, <laughs> eight trans neon green. That was that was that one's a good one too. This one. Um, Muhammad, ten years, Calgary. Calgary, anyone who's from Calgary, I want you guys to drop it off a New Horizon yeah, Mall. Please. Like, we want to display this to the public. Uh, deep Sea Cruiser. So this deep, one is Deep Space Cruiser. Oh, sorry, Deep. Sorry, I said space. 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 This looks uh, classic Star Wars -y in terms of its shape. Yeah. I would say. Like, I like how he made the main body of the ship white mm. and then all the additional, maybe like modular um, thrusters yeah. that. Maybe he like gets it changed out every time he goes on a different mission. Oh, right? they're like they're like uh, reusable thrusters. Like yeah. you don't you don't they like pop off and you yeah. like that's what I'm thinking. I mean, in. it looks nice that way. Is that an earth blue that's striped down the middle? Yes. Oh, that's cool. The white and the earth blue. That I love that combo. We, combo. we both like it. So is the um, thing on the bottom is it the dolly that when it lands it clicks into and so. then it gets like I they think, transport it. I hope he does. He sends us another photo. Yeah, I, I you can see it in the background. It's Could there. Be. It looks like when he lands, it would click into it, yeah. and then like another Here little, you know. another little like vehicle would just pull it along. Right. While it's not in commission, probably changing out its gear or its engines on the back. Right. It's very nice. Good job. That's it's simple for ten years old. That is a very minimalist. It's clean. I like these kind of spaceships. They're yeah. just super fun to build and. Yeah, wow, that's actually very impressive. It conveys a lot with a little, which is awesome. Uh, oh. Next one, another another person from Calgary. Nathan. Nathan. Uh, Brennan. 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 22, Calgary. Exploration vessel. It's numbers? Like wind numbers? But he did a scene. He definitely did a scene. Like, you could, I, you could totally tell it's those ice cream parts are like smoke. Everyone loves those ice cream parts for smoke. Yeah. It's the, the best way you. So is this, this has got to be a mining mission. It has to It be. looks like he's, I mean, there looks to be some sort of gems in the front. Right. Is that what that is? Or uh, is he going to mine for like gas, like in, oh, like, I don't um, know, like Starcraft or something, Starcraft. where he's, he's going to, to get the geysers. Well, let's see what other photos he has to see if he, oh, okay. This is well, a really cool ship, by the way. It is. Look at the green one. Very clean. Simple, the shape. Look how, look how he made the, um, the adjustment on the arm piece. So it's actually a wrench. It's a wrench piece oh, right. connected yeah. into some, what's that smaller piece? What would that be used It's like for? a, a small it's a pneumatic T, pneumatic T. Ah. So it's actually like you attach it to hoses Okay. Um, with an air pump in the lip. Yeah. Oh, that one. Oh, oh look at the minifig space. He saw something. He saw something. He's like, oh, oh. no. It's, it, it's either discovery 
or fear. He's like, what is this? Oh, I wonder which one. I like that that's, uh, just, that's a story in itself. Yeah. Because you don't know which it is, so you can choose which one it is. Gosh, I, that This boat is also really cool. Reminds me of like an alien, like just coming your way. You're like, you know what would be a really cool movie scene? Because this is the windshield, yeah. you can see the reflection of whatever oh, it is. It starts cool. getting darker and then it, it, it just engulfs it. Just kinda, yeah. Oh, the that's last cool. moments. Good before. job, Nathan. All right, who do we got? Nelson. Nelson uh, Navalis, age 19. Hammond, USA, Explorer, 1818. Oh, I that's right. It sounds like from a movie. It sounds like, like it this. It sounds and looks like it could be from like a classic 80s alien movie. Mm -hmm. Not alien the movies, but like an alien space movie. Yeah. I don't know. Like these guys this, like, discover Odyssey, something. Odyssey 2001 or something. Maybe. Like that. I know. I don't know why, but I just feel like there's something ominous ahead. Well, it's got to be something. Like there's some mystery in itself, and it's white. I know. So. It's it's almost when I saw this one, um, it was think I was thinking of Interstellar. Mm. Yeah, that one was a pretty simple exploring ship. So the thing I like about this ship, in terms of like the silhouette telling a story itself, the main cockpit is relatively small compared mm -hmm. to the entire body. Right. And the body doesn't taper anyway. It's like a big vessel. Right. So it shows that there's a lot of things inside there. Mm -hmm. So there's like science. There's yes. probably like you know this bathroom like. Right. All that stuff like that you would expect, like well, look, in a just ship. Just even look at the sides too. It looks like there's things that where he needs to take out his equipment. Yeah, from, exactly. right. But it's such a clean ship. It's very clean. Simple, not bad. No, it's very cool. Very very smooth as well. Classic. Look at that. I like that. Just one color. Yeah. For the just to illustrate that it's like flying or something. Nice. The exact opposite from the all black and the trans blue. Yeah. All white trans blue. Right. The, yeah, the Dark Hunter had like a trans red. Uh, this that, one, that's true. right. So this could be, this could be what the Dark Hunter is hunting. hunting. Maybe you guys can do a collab with yeah, that. Yeah, cool. That'd be pretty cool. This yeah, you're really right. Now it, yeah, you're right. It showed what's inside. Like, oh, there it is. The top yeah. is open. Yeah, so they can see that the houses as well. There's an entire walkway of, cool. of things to, to explore. So, Very nice. also the domes on the on the engine pieces there was unique. We haven't seen anything with the with those domes specifically. Mm -hmm. There's something, there's some reference in a uh, movie or something that looks similar to that. I can't remember that. Uh, I think it was, a, could it be a Tom Cruise movie, Oblivion? There was that, they had like spears on the side. I don't know. No, it's not on the side. Oh well, nice. really great ship. Good job, Nelson. No, oh, he provided us a lot of photos too. Yeah. Hey, look at that one. Nick Christensen. H20 USA, the SS Delta Helix. Oh, very nice name. This is a cool ship because it is like a ship wrapped within a ship. Wait, what do you mean? Well, look at how the ending portion, like it breaks off. Like, so there's this gap in between the ship, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So it's like this main ship area, yeah. but like the wing areas aren't just wings, like it actually wraps around the entire oh, thing. Oh, I see. It's so it's, it's kind of cool how. I like the negative space, basically. Right. The negative space inside the ship mm -hmm. really shows a lot of a unique ship. cool shape to it. And oh. that part right there, it looks like an ancient artifact that it's using to power up the ship. Inside of the dome? Yeah. Or inside of the trans, clear. trans cylinder area? I, we'll I have mean, to zoom in to see what that actually is. Right. Um, it could be just be an engine, but it really looks like he took something. It looks like power source. It looks yeah. like he went to some mysterious planet mm -hmm. and like was able to find it and then just in his engine and yeah. that's what's powering it, right? That's, yeah. Like an antimatter or something. Well, I mean, especially that trans blue, he's telling us that trans blue are its power. Its power. Right? right. So very cool design. Very sleek. Oh, there you go. Hey, yes, in the engine. Yeah. Nice. I really like that. Yeah, the build is very cool. Where's your in USA? Come up to Ed Edmonton, please. <laughs> All right. Who's this one? Zillman. From Edmonton! Shaw, age 9, from Edmonton, Canada. Assassin's Dropship. Ooh. This has got, this has got, uh, what do you call it? A very menacing name. <laughs> so, it drops the assassin. Yeah. So it basically drops off the bounty hunter. Right. Or the assassin. Out of this crazy ship. This ship is very, like, rambo -y. Kind of does. And then, I mean, look, it, he's got his, um, speeder bike on top. So that oh. when it's ready to drop, he's like, That's cool. He's got his ship already. And look at the door, it's very functional. 
I like how the door wasn't placed on straight and even. Right. Like he actually thought about it. Like, cause look at the door is a different color. Mm -hmm. So it looks like a scrap part. Oh. It's beaten up mm -hmm. and it's off like kilter. It's like hinged like yes. on one hinge. Like that's that's a pretty like advanced sort of thought process for someone that age. Right. In my opinion. So maybe what he was trying to say is that like this ship itself is like it went through combat and he's oh, going for round two. He's like maybe. back for revenge. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there's, <laughs> again, there's definitely a story to be oh. told just based off of what. Look, look at that piece. It's yellow. So the, the door was broken. Oh. So the, this is a nice clean door. Oh, and then this saying. got so busted. This, this side is the clean door and the other side is the busted door. Very cool. Nice. So he did definitely come back from combat. A lot of story. Yeah, very cool. Nice. Maybe it was from the uh, assassin kicking the door open every time. <laughs> it looks like in the first picture he kicked down the That's door. True. And then they're like, you gotta stop doing that. It's costing yeah. us a lot. I was like, man, I can't keep repairing this door. <laughs> very cool shit. Okay. Next, Peter and Evie Cahill, age 40 and age 6. So it's so a, a parent child yeah. uh, team up. Team up, obviously. Ooh, Blue Horizon. I think this was built for this competition because. Uh, as soon as Peter posed, I sorry. As soon as he submitted, he submitted this. Um, he posted this on Instagram. As okay, well. so, so it wasn't something that was on there before. He posted it right okay. afterwards. Well, hopefully he built it in that time frame. This is it's it's really good. impressive build for for the time frame. That right. Well, I mean, he had his daughter helping him out, right? So That's true. They, they, I mean, she must be a master builder to build something like this. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, she probably built it, and he probably just assisted. Her yeah, right he now. just watched. Probably. This is awesome. And it's piloted by a droid, so you don't often see that. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you could really go into heavy, heavy warfare without mm -hmm. life casualties being an issue. Yeah. You send the droid, oh the gosh. expendable droid, but the blue in this is so vibrant. Mm -hmm. Like this picture is, looks like it was taken in the light box. Maybe not <laughs> actually. Well, look at the shadows though. There's a little a lot right. of shadow for a light box. But either way, this picture was, uh, it really captures that vibrant blue. And Very nice color blocking. Yeah, just a little bit of yellow for detail. Now, one cool thing I wanted to point out was the Blue Horizon. He made his own logo. Oh, just for like this. he literally. Well, I mean, not. I'm not sure. Like maybe that's Peter's thing, where maybe. whenever he builds a spaceship, he's gonna show like, um, you know, choose Blue Horizon. Uh -huh. We'll get you to where you need to go <laughs> in style, or like you know, like because it's kind of joy. Now it's a high class it's uh, an travel <laughs> travel head. It's a it's basically getting you from galaxy to galaxy in style. So like, something that I don't like I don't like printed parts and right. I don't like you don't like stickers. Stickers, but I do mm. like that he did the no step right. stickers at the front because that's something that you will actually functionally see like in real life. Mm. Like like it tells you not to step on things like that. So at the very front, like no step, like yeah. that's. It's just interesting, like just bring some life to it. Yeah. There was like an actual person who thought, okay, don't step there. Right. Like I think with that itself was these stickers aren't normal. Like Maybe that's I think custom, he made his own stickers. Custom printed? Yeah, that's even I think so, because I can't say ever seeing that in Lego. Like I don't know. I could be wrong, but Peter, like yeah, I Peter. hope you see this, but let us know like if you made your own stickers and how. That's yeah. very cool. There's also caution where it seems like the exhaust intake might be. Yeah. So don't go there or else you'll have a bad time. Lots of detail. Oh, Ooh. see, there you go. Nice the nice engine nice. color block to black so we know what engines are, the engine parts are. Underneath, dark, mechanical. Yeah. Yeah, a really good idea. Keep the clean, colorful stuff on the top. Awesome. Super awesome. cool build. Really good. Um, good job, Evie. Evie? 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 Yeah. Evie, I -E. Sorry for the Peter and Eve. Evie. Who's this one? This is... Oh, Rick. Rick Shuster. A. Shuster. Sorry, age 50. USA. USA and is called the USMC Frigate Transport Ship. So it's nice in the title sometimes when they give an explanation. So it's a transport ship. Yeah. So we don't have to guess what it's for. But given the fact this long, bulky shape, mm -hmm. not as aerodynamic fightery right. and not as much weaponry, you can expect that this probably would be a transport ship. It makes it, sense. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I like, I think those are custom decals. Like he made those himself, the stars. You think so? Yeah, but the stars often for me, um, like represents military. Mm -hmm. So it could be a mili military transport ship. 
Well, it says USMC, which sounds very What's military. What's our name? I'm not sure. We'll have to right. get them to put it down in the comment section below. It just sounds very military. Right. Uh, I was going to say, so this you think is probably a scale for sure. Definitely. And what do you think it transports? I mean, it, like that's, if it's for military, it could be like weapons, weapon grade materials, um, or it didn't say a prison ship. It so did not, maybe, no. maybe the fact that it's unmarked could be that it could be transporting. Mm. Um, I don't know, anything. It's just got the one star as a marking. Yeah. So it leaves a little bit to be, it's like kind of mysterious a little bit, like For what sure. it might be transporting. I believe Rick submitted another one too. Let's just Let's see. see the rest of the photos here. It's got some radar. Whoa. Is that that's the full? Yeah, yeah, but that's the So the the first couple photos, the foreshortening on it makes it look a lot shorter than it is. This is a it's really long show. Well, I mean, it's, yeah, it's got to be because all that cargo, right? That's true. That that's makes so sense. Nice. Really cool. Really great design. All so right. this is uh, Rick as well. This is nice. a different ship. It's called the uh, New Republic Cruiser. So this is that a Star Wars ship? I'm not familiar with Star Wars as much, but it I don't looks... think so, but it looks like there might be some inspiration maybe? Yeah. It definitely looks like some sort of battle cruiser. Do you I'm think this one's like more more fighter? This one transport? it's a cruiser, so yeah, it's definitely built for like fighting. Mm -hmm. Um like the fact that he showed us a scene, okay, those could be like um, torpedoes or like, like the white key. the whites. The white ones, or what are you talking about? The, the ones on the, the left side there, like you know, see the curve. Like the football shaped ones? Yeah, the football shaped ones. They could be like bombs or anything that it could be dropping. Oh, like drop ball. Let's see if there's yeah. another photo with it attached. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, I wonder how they're how they're utilized. Could be power uh, engines. Doesn't show. Yeah. Uh, Rick, if you see this, please leave a comment down below what those are utilized for. That's I really mean, cool. you could, you, I'll double check the email, see what they're for, but yeah, no, very nice. Is this another one? Oh, uh, yeah, this is another one. Rick. You've got some micro ships. These are Ooh, really cool. It's part of the same universe, the USMC. Yeah. Oh, it's an escort ship. Yeah, escort yeah. ship. So it's fitting for the transport ship. So it could be, it could be transporting some like, s s some something people. valuable. Va valuable. Yeah. Valuable, whether it be valuable in terms of like human lives or yeah. like, or minerals, weapons, like, minerals, yeah. something. It's definitely transporting something that's worth a lot. He made oh. his own decals. That's so cool. Like those, the I side ones. Yeah, I don't think they look like water slide, maybe. Maybe or shiny. This kind of like, did he draw it? I can't tell. But I love it when people do their own thing, and like some of us don't recognize it. Like because I love stickers, but like if I can, if I don't recognize it, I'm just curious. Right. So. Samuel right. Jensen, H17 USA. This is a really cool one. I saw this and I told Colin, I'm like, yo, check this out because this is insane. Like, there's a story, it's simple, but heavy micro scale. Yeah, very heavy micro scale. So, it's really hard to, it's hard for me to tell a full story in micro scale mm -hmm. where this guy really does it. So, we've got a ship taking off. Right. Clearly. Um, we have the blasters. You have it coming out of somewhere that's surrounded by water, mm -hmm. which is cool. So we know that there's water, there's vegetation on the planet. So we know there's life as well. There's a bunch of rock and there's all this like grieving mechanical detail Just, inside. Well, so all that, that snot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, a lot of snot. Like those cheese slopes aren't even connected. Which ones? The ones that are making the arrows? They're ah. inverted. Oh yeah, yeah. They're just uh... they're just like literally. That's like <laughs> yeah. just friction placed in just there. Friction. It's insane. Don't flip it upside down. Is what you're saying? Well, uh, basically. But who knows? Maybe he made it so that it's so tight. Yeah. But yeah, now we're getting. Um, so on one uh, side, on sure. one side, it looks like rock face detailing. Yeah. And then in the next picture, you can see the actual mm -hmm. mechanical building. So, so what? Is like, it a ship? Or no, a I wall? think I think it was built into the rock face. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it's. It's basically, oops, being transported. It's basically shooting out from this, from what I think at least. Well, once again, tr the use of transclear to illustrate um, that it's launching, there's story in there. Like, yeah. look at those flames. Like, literally, mm -hmm. it's launching. It's got life. It's got a lot of life to it. Like, I don't know, the blue and the white chips, and it's very nice. I like the the thing that angles a little bit. It just shows oh, some yeah. kind of cool dimension. Like wow. it looks spirally almost. Almost. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's this really is a great cool. ship. Great photos overall. That was a great build. 
Uh, Stephen Douglas Gilbert, age 16, USA. Emmett Space Cruiser. Cruiser? Yeah. Nice. So we don't get to see, let's see if we got, there we go, we got a person in the front here. So this is interesting. It uses a propeller in the back, which is unique Ooh. in terms of like spaceships and whatnot. Right. So it has more classic thrusters next to the uh, general body and then mm -hmm. on the outside of the wings. But I like when there's a propeller on the back. <laughs> Very <laughs> piratey. Very Anytime I see a propeller, I'm like, this guy, it's a pirate. <laughs> he has to be a pirate. But it, it says Emmett's, right? It did say Emmett's. Oh, so yeah. maybe, maybe Emmett went on a different mission and yeah, he had to build, he had to use what he had in front of him. Because Emmett from the movie is a master builder, right? So he was probably trying to get out of a tough situation. Okay. So he just used what he had and yeah, maybe he just um, rolled with the wrong crew that one time. <laughs> For the pirate crew. Yeah, the pirate crew. I was thinking it would be cool because Maybe the propulsion system for the spaceship in space doesn't work underwater. Yeah. And so you go underwater and then oh, the back turns on and then you just like an underwater. Yeah. Uh, shit, maybe that's what Future call it. Because there's a lot of, it's a very aerodynamic. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And a swoosh. And a swoosh. swoosh photo. Swoosh photo is important. Who's this one? This is Sydney Shaw, age oh, from Edmonton. This must be Nolan's um, sister. Yeah, so dynamic attack. Oops. That sounds so menacing. <laughs> I love names that are just like so scary. It's like it's performing the the action yeah. of the the ship. This thing looks indestructible. Yeah. Like this or, this has mass. This has <laughs> this has bulk. Standard brick, man. I don't I wouldn't want to step on that. I wouldn't want it to run into me either. <laughs> it's got a cockpit. Mm -hmm. It's got engines. Engines got power source. It's got wings. It's got wings. It's got everything that you need in the spaceship. And I believe the top was removable. Uh, let's right? double check. Yeah, yes. there you go. Perfect. Good job. Check everything. That was definitely a spaceship. Nicely done. Yeah, that's a really good ship. Really good ship. I love seeing young builds. He's your master builders. Who is this one? Thomas Forth. Wataskawin. 14, Wataskawin. This is a law fighter. This and is... in the email, he specifically pointed out the radar. So okay. he said that's that's definitely a main part of this ship. So it's definitely doing something to has something to do with that radar. Dish. Okay, so outlaw fighter. So it's it's a fighter. It literally yeah. says fighter in the name, but he pointed out the the radar. So he didn't say specifically why the radar. That's right. Yeah. So what do you think? Well, I'm thinking like if it's if it's going into battle. If it's a military style ship, because you got the green in there, right? Yeah. So it's definitely got that camo feel going. Maybe he's trying to like, he's um one of those uh, special fighters mm -hmm. that have to come in stealth, okay. but like just get in there, get everybody out, and then just go. Because maybe he's like hacking into their telecommunications. Yeah, something I was like I was that. thinking he's he's a he's like a fighter, but he's not like the main fighting ship. He's, That's right. He supports. He's got this radar on it. He goes in there and it's just like beam sonar. Yeah. It like relays all the data of the terrain and yeah. all the people. That's right. And if he has to, like, he finds his way out. Yep. It's a re maybe like a, an advanced recon ship. Maybe like a heavy armored recon ship. Yeah. Really cool. Nice. Uh, again, since you pointed out the the radar, we'd love for you to leave a comment on exactly what your thought process was behind <laughs> it and why it was so important in this ship. Because we'd be great to see if we were right or not. <laughs> He also did a slightly off-center, or a slightly asymmetric build on the, the wings I just noticed. Yes. So only one side has that long pipe where the other one has... Uh, Multi-purpose. Yeah. Yeah, maybe cool. it's... There's so many different functions to the ship. Yeah. Yeah, we would love to know what you were thinking when you designed it. Okay, Urbano Fernandez, age 9, Edmonton. Nice. Solar... Do you remember the last uh, one? Savage. Sol Solar, Solar Savage. Oh, vicious sip, ship. Vicious, vicious. Uh, it looks vicious. It's a tongue twister. Vicious, vicious, vicious ship. We've been uh, talking all day, so we're kind of getting <laughs> tongue twisted. Hey, we haven't seen a lot of use of the macaroni pipe shapes that are oh, utilized you're coming right. off the side, which are actually it. a really good grueling and design piece mm -hmm. for ships. It's like That's a true. really great piece. You get, because you got those pipes and hoses, like right? Like very exhaust. Looking. Yeah. I'm sure that's what he wow, That's what he's for. using. Yeah. And he's, look, he's, he is elevating it. Yeah, so. he elevated it as well. It's, it's on a, it's on a block. Um, what were we, let's see if we can see this. There we go. 
So we've got, it looks like there's ah. some, some, there's definitely some uh, artillery on here. The front, yes. the front. If you dedicate the front portion of your ship to shoot things, you're <laughs> definitely like a fighter. You're definitely a fighter. Uh, what about that back piece? It looks like it might be a sonar dish as well. I, I'm, I'm not thinking 100 power sure. Source. Okay, oh, you're right, right? actually. With the trans uh, orange inside. Ah, uh, because we said power source. Power source, cockpit, cockpit weaponry, guns. <laughs> landing gear. Land yeah, we did talk about landing gear. I wonder if he um he saw our video and like kind of did what similar to what we did because this is like this is an imperial one. Mm. Notice the insignia. Yeah. So what if he thought if he was building a ship to get on solo? Yeah, maybe. Right. So he's like, you know, I'm gonna build a ship to get chase those guys. That's true. So, we did our set was based off Han Solo's Han, Han Solo's, so right. this could definitely be a same universe. Yeah, definitely a chaser for that one. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, looks like we finished that one anyway. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was a power source though. Really good build. Good job, Barbano. And I love your name. That's so unique. Yeah, <laughs> Barbano's an awesome name. West instead, age nine, Calgary, Canada. What do we got here? It is the Red Void. Ooh, ooh, it's a cool name. The Red Void. Oh, simple, very simple ship. So this is, um, from the top view, I would say like a stealth fighter. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's it's flat but it's, wide. It's, yes, and it exactly. Tapers at the ends. That's or really cool. or a bomber. You know, yeah, like yeah. that stealth. Yeah, yeah stealth definitely bomber. stealth. Yeah, a stealth very bomber. Very cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's the red. There's the red. So it's yeah. all it's very middle portion. So the red void is like you don't see it. So maybe it's definitely like something. Maybe that's where it houses all the weaponry, like maybe. where the bombs come out. Like you see, all you maybe see right. is like underneath. It's like all black and yeah. stealth, but you just see this one I red like area, that. and then that opens up, and you're like, oh no, and bombs just like come out at you. That's a good ship design, actually. Like yeah. all black on top and red. I love black and red combos. Very nice. <laughs> red void, such a good name. He also used blue flame exhaust instead yep. of red ones, like a lot of other people. Very smart. Because he already had the red void, he already had the red in the ship, he decided to use different, different colors so that it color blocks so you can see your eyes easier. It's easier for your eye to see yeah. what's going on. What else so, did he send us? Did he send us anything else? Uh, just three. Okay. But a cool Imperial like, uh, TIE Fighter front car. Yes, that's right. Very cool. And we have also oh, uh, oh, yeah, more, another more, one. more Weston. Shadow, yeah, what more Weston. The Shadow Caster this time around. Because it's huge. It he casts wide it ships. He casts a large shadow. That's yeah. <laughs> definitely <laughs> the size itself is huge. Look at that. That's wow. huge, man. So you want a different approach to this one. We just complimented him on the simplistic color scheme yeah. on the last one and a very stealth. Where this one's a lot more angular, um, colorful. It's definitely got a different mission to it. It's got a different purpose behind it. Yeah, this one's built for, like, destruction. <laughs> I don't know. I like the, I like kind of like all the stickers used. It looks like yeah. maybe like a, a war veteran, like, spaceship. Every time they mm. go to combat, they like slap on a new sticker That's from true. where they were. I don't know. From what, what do you call it? From all the ships that they... Take it down? Yeah, nice. Yeah. I it's... like the, literally the silhouette with the wings. I like it when wings expand that much, mm. but I wonder if in like real life it retracts, like you know, like, like if it would come in, yeah, or fold over. It'd be hard itself. to it'd be hard to store a ship without such a big wingspan. I think for sure, or for if sure. it yeah fold back, mm -hmm. might be might be cool. No, this one's definitely a more of a like very different take from what he did because yeah. he's using big engines, yeah, big cockpit. Big wings, everything is like super sized. Yeah, it's a shadow cast. It's a shadow cast. It makes so much sense. Very nice. This this ship should be in Build Con. Yeah, because it's a, he lives in Calgary. He lives in Calgary, so yeah. Anyone, anyone down. nearby, definitely come by. Ooh. Will Winter, H6, Calgary, the Grabber ship. Did, is this an actual set? I wonder. Like, I, I saw this, but I'm like, I've never seen this set before. This is really cool. I don't. I'm trying to look in the back, back to see if they right? realized just. Um, inspiration? Maybe. I think, yeah, I think, I think so. Utilize inspiration. It's Very really cool. This world. Yeah, it is. It's also not a single cockpit. It's double. Right. So it's two actually two two windows separated two window panes, which is really cool. And it yes. obviously has a very specific function. Mm -hmm. And the using rabbit. classic space though. Classic space. The light classic space. Very cool. Yeah. Um, the grabbers. Uh, what do you think? 
What do you think this one looks for? This one, I don't know, the colors, it's a little bit more vibrant than like the meteor one mm -hmm. or the asteroid one that I was thinking of. I think this one might be, it goes through space, but it lands on like a, like a, a, a planet with like dense vegetation. Right. And it like sits through it. Yeah, that's true. I could see that. I mean, a lot of these um, space, classic space, was for exploration. So mm. they could not just... That's true. They don't need to land on the moon or like rocky surfaces looking for like um, minerals. This could just be vegetation for sure. True. And man, those trans yellow parts, I think those are... I've never seen them in... Uh, other than from space sets, like classic space set. That's those and are that, the cool. Uh, the window yeah. that just flips, it like rotates just on one pivot. But mm -hmm. it's really cool. Oh, and there they are, both of them. Look, cockpit designs and everything. Mm -hmm. It's got consoles. It's got everything. But that look at that trans blue wings. Yeah, that's unique. That's very unique. I can't say I've seen that. No, no neither have I. All right, so who's next? Xander. Xander A. Hardwell, age sixteen, United States, the whirlwind. You know, I like how some people actually use, make their own um, light box. Notice that some of the photos, you can tell that they're using all white. Mm -hmm. Like, it's cool that you guys made the effort to like submit uh, <laughs> like your like, own light box. Like against a clean, like they wanted to take it against a clean background mm -hmm. so that it showed as much detail as possible. Right. It's, it's really good. I mean, like before we use light boxes, Paper, yeah. white paper, cardboard, like large poster paper, paper. poster paper, yeah. just like against the floor and wall. Right. So no. This one's very interesting because he's got like the orange as a highlight color. So majority of it is white and orange. It's so cool. It's very nice. That's Colin's favorite combo, by the way. Very orange, orange and white. white. Oh, so good. Orange, white, and black. But it's, the orange is subtle, which is cool. It's That's got to be him. It's got a. Uh, but a light ship as well. Yeah. That's so cool. Look at the mini ship. Xander. Water of everything, Xander. Is that you? <laughs> Xander's personal ship. Does the spaceship hold a mini pig? It must be mine. Well, that. yeah, I see the. Yeah, like there's a cockpit front there. Yeah. Yeah. I, totally. wonder, I wonder if it can fit in there. It's, huh? I wonder if it can For fit sure. or if this is supposed to be like one. Well, I'm wondering if the, the landing thing in the back, because it looks very inspired by X Wing. You look at it? Yeah, it, right? it feels very swingy. It definitely does. Especially with those uh, the guns that come off there. It just it feels like something that would be um, piloted by like a Luke or a Roman right. fighter for sure. Let's see what else. Yeah, oh that yes, okay. it does. He's got that um, black hat uh, sorry, back, back hatch. hatch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and who's Zachary, Zachary and Jamie, age five. Kylo Ren's command ship? What? That is awesome. <laughs> Another version of it. Very cool. Very cool. Where is Kylo Ren? Do you see him? Maybe he's, he's in the back. Oh, I think he's in the back. All right. So we have a pilot. Yeah. Clearly in the front with a console, cockpit, everything. Uh, we generals. have some generals. Let's see what we have for. They look nervous, man. Well, like, they're like, maybe Kylo. Oh, yeah. Kylo Ren's definitely sitting in there. Yeah. And he's they probably like, he's like, they're like, dude, oh, we man. screwed up. <laughs> I like, I kind of like how you can't really see Kylo Ren in any of these that photos. So scary. Even his face on, it's so dark. Yeah. Like, he's just menacingly sitting in there. Yeah, it's so scary. No, he, they're definitely scared. They're like, there's something happened. It's but, also, also relatively open the ship. Can you imagine him just like force screw, like force throwing <laughs> off the ship and like he makes them mad? The pilot doesn't even want to go back there. No. That's how scared he is of Kylo Ren. Exactly. But I like that one clone trooper. He's got samurai swords. Cool. Like, look, look at the. He's got uh, two golden samurai swords. Oh, there they that are. That guy's elite. The, I mean, if he's on Kylo Ren's command ship, yeah, he's definitely a, like a specialized stormtrooper. And that cool single shoulder pad. That's that's not that's that's a cool thing. That's it. Well, that's it for the the submissions for this contest. We're super excited for all of them. Uh, look forward to Thursday for when the winner is revealed. Yep. And again, we have Sharp Teeth contest going on now as well. Well, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, um, I hope that these spaceships inspired you guys because there's so many different styles of spaceship out there. We have definitely been inspired. We hope that you guys get a chance to take a look at all of this and check out and let us know what you like. Yeah, definitely. Again, that's Chris and Colin from Creator. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you guys for all your submissions. Bye.